the filament eruption headed at Earth. Coronal hole incoming on the south as well, but let's take another look at that eruption here. Clearly near center disk, and a fairly outward push after the snap. It was not a tremendously dense filament, so the CME is sparse, but it could have been worse, as in red 304 angstroms, we see just how much plasma erupted with the event, most filtering down through the corona. It's worth watching one more time. Both Enlil spirals were updated, and both clearly show the impact coming to Earth and arriving on the 10th. While I do not think the CME is scary, it may be moving a bit faster than they believe. We will have eyes open beginning on the 9th. Let's move on to several papers on pre-seismic electromagnetic anomalies. Geomagnetic, ionospheric, VLF, total electron content, and it brings up a question many long-time observers ask. Why don't we focus as much on earthquake prediction compared to space weather, climate forcing, and catastrophism these days? Well, in addition to the others being my strong suit, the field needs no help at all. Thousands of papers now, full acceptance by the field, a satellite dedicated to spotting the pre-earthquake anomalies, and a textbook by the AGU dedicated to the topic as well. There is simply no need to do anything other than watch their progress and feel good about helping to push that field into reality after most thought it was crazy in just 2011. A last article here.